I've always loved music, um, from listening to the records being played, watching my dad practice at home. Music has always been a part of my life. Um, my mother has a picture of me holding, I think, a hairbrush or something, and just, I think I must have been about three, and just singing my heart out. <laughs> just serious, and I always think back, like, you know, I, go, I went through a rebellious time where I didn't want anything to do with music. I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to um, sing. I didn't want to perform. I just wanted to hang out and be with my friends, and everybody goes through that um, and do my own thing. But all of a sudden, it was, it was there. I, I wanted to try it. I wanted to see what would happen. And once things started happening, um, once I started to learn, really, you know, learn songs, learn how to follow, um, you know, play along with, a, or learn to sing along with a guitar, um, I wanted it. I wanted to do it, and I, I knew that I, you know, if I were singing in the shower, or if I was singing in my truck, which I do all the time, <laughs> I sing in the grocery store line. Um, it's who I am, and I don't know how to be any other way. My life growing up is a lot different from my life today. Um, I grew up in a little town of Aklavik and it's, it's small, it's a community where everybody knows everybody else. Um, everybody knows your history, everybody knows who you come from, everybody knows who's related to who and how you're related. And what I remember most is being on the land with my grandmother and my grandfather and my uncle and my, my dad, traveling by boat or skidoo, eating country food, getting up and smelling, you know, my granny baking bread, or sitting at her feet and watching her sew. Going into the bush was an awesome time because there was no rules. Um, you know, the only one was don't play by the water by yourself and, you know, try not to get lost. <laughs> but, you know, I could run anywhere. You know, I didn't have to have shoes on. I didn't have to wear clothes if I didn't want to. You know, the, the beauty of being little when you just have no cares. And that's often how I feel just going for a drive, um, going down the dumpster, even just a little ways, just to see the mountains, see the water, smell the air, you know, hear wind in the trees. Um, it's music, you ever sit and listen to the wind in the trees, it just, you know, it has its own beauty to it. And I, I love that, or hearing water, you know, trickling down a stream, or um, just catching little, little bits of nature here and there and making you feel like you're connected like you're a bigger everything is so much bigger and you feel so small but yet you know it's a piece of you it's a piece of who you are every song on this album is a piece of a piece of us which is a piece of my home and my home is here in the delta i have a delta woman born and bred and i'm proud of it Um, yeah, 
being out on the land and um, just knowing that I belonged there, it was my home. It, it changes um, my perception of the world when, now that when I have an opportunity to travel, um, looking at, looking at, you know, going into a big city and looking around and the smell is different, the feel is different. Um, walking through a crowd of people, walking into, you know, a, a big urban center and seeing so much activity and hearing the noise, the vibe that you pick up. Um, you know, you, you kind of, I always feel like everything is hurried and um, very busy. You know, you, you look at people and everybody's, you know, on a mission to do something. Whereas when you're out on the land, it's about being there. It's about, you know, you've got to simplify it right down to, well, you need water, you need heat, and you need to eat. Um, and it, for me, it makes me think of all the things that I'm thankful for. When I first started out singing, um, all I wanted to do was just sing a couple of songs. Um, you know, I wanted to be cool, I wanted to be in a band, and I just wanted to hang out. I didn't understand what it meant to, to be a musician, to be a performer, to be an entertainer. And I didn't understand um, really all of the work that it takes. You know, it starts with an idea of just wanting to sing a song. But it's so much more than that now. Now I think about how I'm going to connect with, you know, one single person in the audience. And that's all I really focus on is, is one person. Um, you know, there could be hundreds of people in the room. There could be a thousand people watching, but it's getting the attention of one person and trying to make an impact on them, um, giving them an experience, and learning about how I can grow, how I can learn to be better, um, to keep constantly improving, to try to constantly improve my skills. learn from everybody, Le learning to listen first, I think, builds a better performer. And constantly trying to grow and continue developing my skills, um, moving forward and listening to all different styles of music and really having an open mind, regardless, you know, if, I, if it's not my style um, or if I'm absolutely blown away by it. Um, I really think that if I can make a personal connection with, with one single person in the audience, or to be able to show that I care, that every song that I sing is for them. It's so much more than about just what my personal desire is. And don't get me wrong, like I want to sing, I want to rock the house every chance that I get. Um, I love being on stage and seeing a full dance floor. I love looking out into the audience and seeing, you know, people who don't dance but their foot is tapping. Or, you know, they've got a finger tapping a glass. Or, you know, they're moving in some sort of way or even their eyes are just moving. The expression on their face, that to me is, you know, worth a thousand words. I, 
you know, I could, I can't replace that. And the look that, that look alone feeds me. And when you're standing on stage, you're looking, you're looking over the audience, you're feeling their energy, and you've got a full dance floor, and you can feel, you can feel people moving to a beat that you're creating to a vibe that you've set in the room. That is a, the most powerful feeling I've, I can ever explain. People who've helped me along the way um, forefront my father. Um, he's given me guidance. He's shown me what it takes. You know, his career has spanned over 40 years. It's everything about who he is as a person, you know, it, he is a musician, he is an entertainer. And he told me a long time ago, it's not about you. I didn't understand it, you know, because I was like, what do you mean it's not about me? <laughs> you know, when you're young and you think that everything, the world revolves about, around everything that you do, um, that's not so. Um, I will say for the last few years I've had the pleasure and um, the honor of working with Laurie McNabb. Um, not only is he a great songwriter, but he's an awesome guitar player. And he sat with me f for years, nurturing me and helping me to develop my talent. Um, teaching me the ropes and teaching me to focus and giving me giving me lessons that I couldn't have learned um, any other way because there were times where I just I didn't understand and he had patience for me and sometimes I can be a little bit much um, sometimes my energy and uh, I'm a little pushy <laughs> if I want something, I'm on it like a dog. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll, I keep pestering and I ask stupid questions and um, I'll ask, sometimes I'll ask the same question over and over again. Like, well, what do you mean? Well, why, why, why is this like that? <laughs> and he really, he really laid it on the line for me. Um, he's given up time from his day job, from his family, to write, record, co-produce what is, not, you know, the upcoming album, to really l listen to my life story and my experiences and set them to music. My music, what I do when I'm, when I'm playing a show depends largely on the, t the audience that I'm playing to. Is the inspiration for many songwriters, um, people that you meet, little moments. Some of the greatest songs ever written were about, you know, something that happened um, in the blink of an eye. I have so much to learn about songwriting, about the process, about um, styles and formulas and what makes a great song, about hooks and melodies. I have a long, long way to go. Um, my best, the best songs that I think I've written and have, not, have yet to be heard come just as I'm about to fall asleep. Just that, you know, in the state when you're between wakefulness and, and dreamland, uh, those are my most creative times. Between tragedy and 
um, any kind of traumatic event or any kind of event that is also very elating. Uh, music is mostly fueled by, or is fueled by emotion, I think. And I find the moments that, that I, f I think I hear a great line of a song, or I, f I feel, a, or I hear a melody come in, in emotional moments, whether I'm happy or sad or um, angry. a lot of friends, seen a lot of friends, been around people who have just lost their way. And it is about losing your way. Um, it's about falling into abuse patterns in, and seeing what it does to your, what it does to your soul, what it does to your body, what it does to your relationships what it does to your ability to be able to care for yourself. And um, my heart's been broken by seeing waste and ruin, by seeing my peers, my people, by seeing my people damaged and damaged so horribly by drugs, by alcohol, by bad choices. Well, it came from underground and put all the dogs to shame, let all your wounded out and threw all your hope away and told you a lie, told you that it's all you need to survive wants to be something clean leaving no memory shakes down your only dream destroys all your dignity and tells you a lie gives you a reason to never ask why My music, I hope, will take me to the four corners of the earth to touch ground in different places to meet people from all walks of life, um, to travel, to have experiences that are very different from living and growing up in the north. I love my home and I love my people and I love where I come from and the, all of the elements that make me who I am. And I, I've been very fortunate in the last little while. Um, I went to the Aboriginal Music Program camp last March. Um, I've had the opportunity to travel to 
many communities to share my to share my music to share my performances with many people from many different places in all walks of life all ages and they've been amazing people have opened their doors people have opened their hearts people have opened you know people have opened their fridges to me and fed me and put me up and let me sleep on their floor or their couch um, and allowed me into you know to allow me into their home and welcomed me into their families and I think that's awesome getting a chance to um, to be a part of music conferences and festivals um, seeing all different styles of music um, all different types of performances um, learning and watching and listening to the way that people interact, other musicians interact with each other. Um, there have just been so many cool experiences and I've met so many neat people that I can't really isolate just one experience. Um, been to some great festivals and um, you know in the Yukon here at home. Uh, in Manitoba. I haven't really gone anywhere yet, but I'm going, you know, I'm, I'm going soon. I don't know where I'm going and I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm, all I know is I'm doing it. Screaming down a four-lane terror I've got wheels to take me anywhere Wind in my hair, no fear in my eyes No questions why, no compromise Take me on a highway down to the ocean Carefree angel, put me in motion I don't care what's left behind I've only got freedom on my mind Wheels in motion, put it into drive. <laughs> 